Hello everyone I welcome you all to the next episode of question discussion series of Dips Academy today we are going to discuss a question of CSIR net 30th November 2020 examination this is a question from number theory so in this question we have given a set a n which is defined for every natural number n it contains a tuple three tuple from n cube such that this condition holds so we are going to discuss the cardinality of this set cardinality of a n is defined as f n that is f of n for every natural number n is cardinality of a n so we have to discuss for every natural number let's start with the first natural number let us take a n to be 1 fine so for 1 we have a 1 to be x y z in n cube such that x raised to the power 1 plus y raised to the power 1 is equals to z raised to the power 1 where z is less than 1 and z belongs to natural number so we got here z belongs to natural number and z is less than 1 so there does not exist any such set thus this set a1 do not contain any element a1 is empty set which implies f of 1 is cardinality of a1 which is 0 so f of n for n equals to 1 is 0 now let us discuss for n equals to 2 if n is equals to 2 then our a2 is defined as x y z in n cube such that x square plus y square is equals to z square and z is less than 2 here z has one choice z is a natural number and z is strictly less than 2 that implies z is equals to 1 so we have to find out three natural numbers x y z such that x square plus y square is equals to z square now z is less than 2 and z belongs to natural numbers so this implies z is equals to 1 so we have only one choice for z so we have to find x and y in n such that x square plus y square is equals to 1 we will see that this has no solution as x is a natural number so x is greater than equals to 1 y is a natural number so y is greater than equals to 1 which implies x square plus y square is greater than equals to 1 square plus 1 square which is 2. So we have x square plus y square is greater than equals to 2 but we want it to be 1 which is never possible. So the set A2 is also empty set which implies f of 2 is equals to 0 which is cardinality of a2 now we see if we proceed in the same manner we cannot check for every natural number n we cannot proceed same way we will check for every natural number we have a very well known result of number theory here which is Fermat's last theorem Fermat's last theorem states that Fermat's last theorem states that if we have three natural numbers x y and z and n is also a natural number which is greater than equals to 3 that is let n greater than equals to 3 n belongs to n then there does not exist x y z belonging to n such that the equation x raised to the power n plus y raised to the power n is equals to z raised to the power n has any solution. This theorem states that this equation has no solution in natural numbers for any n greater than equals to 3. What is our n n set? n set is the collection of all such three tuples x, y, z which has solution for such n. This implies a n which is x y z 
belonging to n cube such that x n plus y raised to the power n is equal to z raised to the power n and z is less than n. So by Fermat's theorem, this equation has no solution for any n greater than equals to 3, which implies a n is equals to 5 for all n greater than equals to 3 by Fermat's theorem. By Fermat's theorem. So we have proved this for n equals to 1 and 2. And this is a result for n greater than equals to 3. So, for any natural number n, for any n belongs to n, a n is empty set, which implies for any n belongs to n, f n is nothing but 0. So, we have shown that fn is 0 for every natural number n belongs to n. So, if we think about the options, then first option states that fn is always finite for n greater than equals to 3. We have fn is finite for all n, then it is finite for n greater than equals to 3 also. So, option A is correct. Option B states that f of 2 is infinity, which is wrong as we have just shown for n equals to 2 also it is empty. So, option B is correct. Option C states that f of n is equals to 0 for all n, which is true. Option D states that f n is non-zero. Since C is true, D cannot be true. So, out of these four options, option A and C are the correct option. And this question just has a trick. We, if we know the result of Fermat's last theorem, then we can do this question easily, else we don't have any further generalization of such result thank you so much for watching the video i hope you have understood the question for any comments for any query you can comment in the question comment section thank you